Hey there guys, this is BaseSinger313 with the continuation of the Let's Play of Hatsune Miku Project Diva F Second! First time ever during the live stream as well, so, and how, how long has it been since I last live stream? Holy shit. Like, what, what was my last episode? I think it was like Peace Walker or something that I last live streamed to or something, but whatever. Now we're playing through Hatsune Miku Project Diva by your request during the Hatsune Miku Let's Play in the comments section. And for that one guy who practically begged for me to um, download the DLC. Oh my god, was it a train wreck yesterday? Like, you should have just been there. Like, oh my god. But whatever. I Hopefully I got it, I think. I downloaded it, so it should be installed into the... Uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to be... Um, we're going to start off with the DLC songs, and then later we're going to be probably playing some ex extreme mode songs, because why the fuck not? <laughs> Um, we won't be going into analyzing them just yet. I mean, I think I might actually have to do that in, um, in, uh, uh, the actual Let's Play. But for now, I think we're just gonna have fun, talk to each other while we play some Matsuni Miku Project Team at second. And hopefully the chat will actually talk or something back to me because I have a feeling that I'm not talking right now or something. Is my, is my audio on? Or is the, uh, game's audio too loud? Hold on. I feel like my audio might be way too, um, or no, my audio might be way too loud. The game's audio, sorry. Alright, that should be good enough, right? Come on guys, talk to me. I know that, I know that you're sad you're not, I'm not here, but don't worry, I'm here now. So, um, yeah. I am, uh, live streaming this, right? <laughs> Just in case. I'm not bullshitting or whatever. Drop frames. We don't have any drop frames, so we should be good to go. No one is talking, which makes me worry that something happened to the chat. Hold on, I'm gonna refresh it then. Uh, no Husky, Metroid, Alex Zombie, and Overreactor is here. Although, X Programmer, uh, Buff A is not here, so I think he or she left. Oh well, whatever. <coughs> We're gonna continue the show regardless, and... Seriously, guys, chat or something. <laughs> I'm, I'm seriously worried, like, nothing's happening. Alright, let's play the game. I'm gonna play one song if nothing happens, and- Oh, there we go, okay. Yes, base, you are indeed live streaming. Okay, good. It's just that the delay's like, oh, sorry. The delay's like really bad, apparently. Um. Apparently, I didn't download the DLC or something. What the fuck? Wait a fucking minute. Wait. Wait a minute. Hold on. Do I have to, like, go through each individual songs and. Oh, fuck. We have. Oh, fuck. It's this bullshit, isn't it? Oh, crap. <laughs> Uh, I, I didn't know we were supposed to do this. We're sp uh, okay, so what we we're supposed to do was... Oh, wait, what? Never mind. How do I... Okay, that's not it, apparently. Is it still installing? Okay, I'm confused. What's going on here? Why is the DLC not here? I downloaded them. It's not there. Unknown. I'm confused. Sweet, my base live stream. Alright, awesome, Alex. Welcome to the show. Um, but here I am being curious as all, figuring out what the hell I'm doing wrong. Uh, what? <laughs> Guys, tell me. I'm not. Sh I'm not too familiar with the PlayStation um UI, so I have no idea how the fuck to do this shit. Okay, unsure. Guys are also unsure. It seems like. Um, yeah, because I got all the songs that's on the disc itself, but not that downloadable one. It seems like. So what's going on there? You have to exit the game, then install the- Fuck me! We have to do that shit? Why can't I install them in the game? Alright, I guess we have to delay this a little bit just so that we can install the songs. Um, alright, so... This is gonna be busy work. So how are you guys doing today? PS3 DLC is a train wreck. Yes, I know, like... First off, the way I had to download these games- Like, I bought the song pack. It did not download every single song. It had to go through every- I had to search through every single individual song just to download it, and... God damn, it just makes me want to buy this game on the Wii U or the Xbox 360. Like, I love the PlayStation, I think it has fantastic games, but boy do I like my Xbox 360 a lot more just from its UI and how it's a lot a lot more easy to, like, ha like navigate and such. So, we're supposed to exit out. And then... Start Content Manager on the PS Vita. What? I don't want the PS Vita. Oh, okay, how about that? Okay, there we go. As we uh, wait for that, I guess you guys could enjoy some music while I commentate as well. Bear with me, I'm not much of a talker. It's fine, that's fine. Um, but uh, yeah, as long as you guys are enjoying the show, then that's all that matters. Uh, fuck, I had... Uh, hold on. You guys might be seeing some weird shit. 
that's fine, that's fine, don't worry about that. Uh, I'm trying to find iTunes so that we could just not get bored from this. Although I can't hear the music, you guys can though, so you guys are going to be the one that's uh, enjoying it. <laughs> w... U? Wait, what? <laughs> what did you say? iTunes volume me currently turn... Oh, that's fine, whatever. Uh, boom. Why do we play that? Okay. Oops, shit, I forgot the thing. So yeah, we're gonna have to... Ah, uh, damn it! I didn't know we were supposed to do this shit. Uh, as if we couldn't delay the stream any longer. Fuck, at least we got you guys to suffer the bearing for me. Um, alright, so... Ooh, there we go, alright. So, yeah, we'll be... But I might help you with the game, that's fine. Base reveals the Sentai collection on stream! <laughs> Uh, uh, I love you guys. This is why I love the chat member. Perfect music for installing DLC. Yes, indeed. Uh, why the fuck do I have PS Vita? What the hell? I don't have a PS... Well, I do have a PS Vita, but why is it showing on my... Do I download a PS Vita version as well if I down... Okay, that's pretty cool at least, but... Why not do that on the PS Vita and not... And... Oh, oh, whatever. So yeah, you guys enjoy the music there. I don't even know what what music is playing right now. I, I think it's like Pokemon or something. I don't know. All right, so hopefully it shouldn't take too long. This will be part one of the segment. Uh, oh shit, where am I? Is Vita PS3? There we go. Ah, uh, screw off YouTube notifications. I don't care. I'm trying to look at the chat on my iPhone because I can't see you guys on my. Uh, computer screen because my computer screen is also the the power of cross by if only it wasn't so terrible well actually it's it's good but it's just it could have been a lot more improved and such like I feel like the cross by should have like automatically had a notification on your Vita instead but then again I'm not sure how about how much power the PlayStation Vita has and to top it off I don't even have the Vita version of this game anyway so what's the point <sighs> So, um, the entire song list is 30 bucks, by the way, in case anyone's curious. That's pretty, uh... Okay, so there are 10 songs in total. I would have liked it if, like, each song was, like, around 2 bucks each, and you get a discount if you buy all the songs or something. But it seems like if you buy all the songs, like, because each song is, like, 30... Uh, sorry, sorry. Each song is $3, I think. And 3 times 10 is 30. I don't know much about Pokemon, do you? This is, like, one of the most famous songs from there. Is it? Um, well, I don't even know what song you're talking about. Is it, um, Pokemon Stadium or Pokemon Stadium 2 that's playing right now? Because I know it's a Pokemon song right now that from the glimpse that I, uh, played through it, but... I don't know. I can just check right now as it, in as it installs. It should be too long. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's Tomodachi Life now! <laughs> okay, so we're not playing Pokemon anymore! Uh, holy shit, 8 viewers, what the fuck? I didn't expect myself to actually see that many people. If they make a sequel for PS4, this won't be a problem anymore. That is actually true. Like, if it's, our, it's for the if it's for the PS4, then I imagine all the downloading stuff is gonna be at full ease because the PS4 architecture is just so much better. But yeah, anyway. So as I was saying before, like if it if each song was like two dollars and um, you get the pack, the full pack, which would be like I say, let's say fifteen dollars. I think that would've been a fucking awesome deal. But there's no like specific pack like you either download you can only download like each individual song and it doesn't matter if you download all of them because you get the same price if you buy all of them which really sucks like I wish there was like, some sort of awesome bundle instead oh base I was wondering did you ever buy Killer Instinct the reason I asked is because the complete edition was 50% off last week yes I did actually I bought it um not at launch day I don't think though but I bought it like I think two months I say two months or a month ago no, no, not ago, sorry. Two months or a month after I bought, um, the, oh, I, uh, I downloaded the demo for Killer Instinct. I got the full package, so that means I have all the characters, all the, well, I don't think all the costumes. I still have to unlock something, I think. But I definitely do have, like, I do have the full version, so. That also includes the, um, two classic Killer Instinct games. Um, I tried playing that and I suck balls at so much. Like, it's so different from, uh, the actual Xbox One game. This might be a bit of a spoilers. Okay, so if you say spoilers, I'm not gonna read that then. Thanks for the heads up, though. Just in case um, anyone else wants to uh, talk about it. 
The DLC module pack is insane version $70 for Oscar costume. Yeah, I saw that too. That is fucking stupid. Like, this is like evolved kind of bullshit DLC. Like, what the fuck? And the last thing I expect to whore out DLC would be Atsuni Miku Project Diva F out of all the games. Like, I feel like this song could have been, like, really, really good. And hell, like, the fact that it's 40 bucks at launch was pretty worth it. But then, you do all this other DLC thing. Like, okay, so if you want basically everything as a full package, that's $40 for the game that launch, $30 if you want to include the 10 songs, and $70 for all the costumes, which are purely cosmetic and shouldn't be even costing that much anyways. So in total, 70 plus 30, that's 100, 100 plus 40, you're paying for $140 for one game, essentially, which is really stupid. That's my thoughts on it. I feel like, if this game was like a lot cheaper, then I could understand it though, but... And 40 bucks for this game right now, like, as its own standalone without the DLC, it's perfectly fine, it's perfectly valid, but... When you include the DLC and the fact that not only is one of them cosmetic, but that cosmetic costs so much money... And the other one actually is more of a gameplay stand because when it comes to cosmetics, like I don't mind too much about the DLC cosmetics as long as it's a reasonable price. And seventy bucks is definitely not worth it whatsoever. Do you plan on doing more episodes of Ki? I do eventually. I really want to. Like I want to do um the story mode for all the characters. Like that's something I really want. I know there's like three endings per character. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to um get all the endings for every character, but I definitely want to try at least. I did practice on Killer Instinct a lot, and it's a really fun game. If anyone wants an Xbox One for some reason, Killer Instinct is definitely the best game to go. Unless it's on PC right now or something. I don't think it's on PC right now, but if it's on PC, then... Well, the Xbox One's pretty pointless then. Uh. And the only reason why I keep my Xbox One around is just to record PC footage at a, a good quality. And at 60 frames per second, because my, uh... My capture card cannot, for some reason, record PC footage on 60 frames per second, or any of its audio, so that's a weird thing that uh, I'm, I'm not sure. I might have to upgrade my Elgato into, into an Elgato 60 just to do that, but if I do that, then I can't even record PS3 footage without um, using a splitter. You plan on, you planning on playing J-Stars? I have no idea what that is. Yeah, this is a bit- yeah, it is. So, um, welcome to the first part of the live stream. I think I'm gonna be splitting this into sections just so for it is easier. So if you guys are watching this on Twitch right now, congratulations, you're getting an early start on what's to come on this Let's Play. If you're watching this on YouTube right now, you should have watched the live stream, you slow-ass motherfuckers. Uh, oh fuck, my iPhone's turning off. Please don't chat. Okay, there we go. Not as bad as most iPhone apps, that is true. Like, most iPhone apps are pretty much worthless. Even the premium ones somehow suck up, because like they like, have to like, oh I think I know, okay awesome. Because they like, have a pay to win and bullshit like that and microtransactions and all that shit. Speaking of microtransactions, what the fuck Metal Gear Solid 5? Like, oh my god, I hope it's not true. But from what I'm seeing so far and what the fuck the Ko Konami has not even said a spoken word of it. I feel like I might have to skip Metal Gear Solid 5 as a whole just because like, uh, I, I, I'm not looking forward to it anymore. That's the problem. Like, I used to because, like, I was, like, hoping to get, like, the full Metal Gear Solid experience for the first time because I never grew up with Metal Gear Solid before, so this is gonna be my first experience truly experiencing it for the first time at launch day and all that shenanigans. But now with all this bullshit that Konami's doing, like, I, I really don't feel like doing that. At best, maybe I'll buy the game used. That's my- I think that's the only way I could, like, Enjoy the game and not support a terrible company. Uh, anyways, what? Shonen Jump, a Shonen Jump crossover. What's Shonen Jump? Think of it as an ultimate anime crossover battle royale. So, what? <laughs> anime crossover. So basically, like, what? Full Metal Alchemist fighting against Naruto, fighting against Bleach, fighting against Pokemon, stuff like that. Is that what you're talking about? My guess, at least. I, mean, I don't know what the hell it was else is there, though. My audio is fine, right? The, lo the game's audio is not that loud. Alright, um... So, of course, I will be splitting them into sections, because the um, previous live streams, all I just do is, like, bundle them into one, but now I have to take a break on some of them. So, hey there, Sonic Juan. Uh, by the way, uh, we'll be taking a break right now from all that downloading. 
Um, sorry you had to join so late, but don't worry, we're gonna be st actually starting the game right now. So stay tuned for more Let's Play Hatuni Miku Project Diva F2nd.